There are a lot of excuses you can make to not reinvent yourself. Don't let COVID be one of them. How's it going, reinventors? I'm Amelia. This is Reinventing You, the channel where you can be inspired to take your own reinventing opportunity. That is to renew yourself in terms of your mental, physical, emotional, career. All of those things can be part of a reinventing journey. I post twice a week. If this is your first time here, I invite you to subscribe. Just go below to the subscribe button or here in the corner where it says click here and subscribe to this channel. If you have been here before or you're already subscribed to this channel, please give me a thumbs up. I sure do appreciate it. Today marks three months since the pandemic sort of basically came to this country, to the United States. At first we were sort of at this sort of, sort of lockdown, sort of stay at home kind of thing. But then at the end of last month, that was lifted in my state. It's like people have or just been acting like there's no pandemic. People are going on vacation and people are meeting in groups and coming to each other's houses and there's a lot more people at the store. The, um, you know, just hanging around the restaurants and all this stuff and it's like, hello people, there's still a pandemic on. <laughs> this has not stopped yet. And in fact, for me, I'm still in fearful mode. I mean, it's like one thing after another. I'm, oh my gosh, what's going to happen this time? What's going to happen that time? All of that's happening. And then there's an economic impact. And then all of the people talking about and really realizing how much we have all been, especially white people such as myself, have all been influenced by racial systemic racism, which I did not realize that I have kind of I know that I was falling into that. So all of these things have kind of bubbled up and it's just been like, you could find probably 15 things out there to say, these for these reasons, I'm not going to reinvent myself or I'm going to stop my reinventing process because all of this stuff is going on. So when I say COVID-19, don't use COVID-19 as an excuse to reinvent yourself. What I mean is there's a lot going on in our country, in our society, in our world today that you can use an excuse to not reinvent yourself. But if you have decided to reinvent yourself, there's a reason for that. And my guess is that reason has not gone away. So just because we're still in the midst of all of this pandemic does not mean that we need to stop making some changes in our lives. A lot of us on this channel, watching this channel, are in the second half of life. Now, if you're like me, that means you're over 50, but it could be any age. You've been through something where you've had to make a decision to change your life in some way. I want you to think about what are some things that you have already learned? What life experiences? What things that you have maybe done wrong and you learned from your mistakes? What are some things that you can simply gather together or think about as strengths or incorporate them in what you're doing right now. What are the things you've already overcome? What excuses have you made in the past and said, okay, you know, I'm not going to do that because of such and such, or I'm going to put this off because of this or that, but you did it anyway. Or even if after you made excuse or procrastinated for a while, you still went ahead and accomplished something. Think about those things. When you had that time in your life where you were making excuses or you had something major happen in the world around you, how do you simply keep going? That is the kind of thing I want us to grasp right now. Think about what strengths that you learned. Think about your fortitude that you were able to do in that time. That's the kind of strength that you need, that we need right now, to continue to reinvent ourselves despite a world pandemic. In karate, one of the things that we learn how to do is the one minute lineup test. That is for one minute, you do not move a muscle. You're not really even supposed to blink, although with my contacts, I usually have to blink at some point. It's the hardest thing you do in karate. And the idea is not that you are using your muscles, but you're using your mind to control your body. If you can use your mind to control that, you can do anything in the practice of karate. I want you to think about your past experiences like that. 
the things you were able to accomplish using your mind, using your might, those life experiences, the things you've learned, though that is what's gonna get you through. That is what's gonna prevent you from using COVID-19 as an excuse not to reinvent or renew your life. Stop making this pandemic an excuse. Stop using what's going on in the world right now to make changes in your life. You know you need to reboot yourself. You know you need to renew yourself, whether it's your health, whether it's your mental clarity, whether it's your spirituality. Maybe you can't do everything you could. Maybe there are certain limits. Maybe you realize something that you're doing is really a product or byproduct of systemic racism. Okay, so those are legitimate reasons for not doing something. But if you're using all of these things that is going on in the world right now to not do something that's healthy for you, to not do something that's positive for you in your life, you are doing yourself a disservice. My challenge for you is stop making the pandemic an excuse to reinvent yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said before, if you haven't subscribed, please do so today. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Stay well, don't make excuses, and have a great one.